Good morning children. Today's topic is plant physiology. What is physiology? It is a branch of biology that deals with the normal function of living organism and their parts. In this lesson you will know about different types of movement in plants. See this animal. It shows a kind of movement, isn't it? Normally animals move. Why do they move? They in search of food, shelter, reproduction, etc. Then what about plants? Do they move? Yes, plant also moves. But it couldn't move as animals do. Plants move only their body parts for getting sunlight, water, nutrients, etc. Some kind of plants move due to external stimuli. What is stimuli? Any kind of change in an organism which is produced from the environment that causes organism to react or respond is what we say it is a stimuli. So plant can move and respond to the environment. The stimuli may be in a form of light, water, gravity, touch, etc. See, for example, have you seen this plant anywhere? Yes, this is touch me not plant. It is said Mimosa pudica. Scientific name is Mimosa pudica. Uh, the speciality of this plant is to close on touching. If you touch this leaf, suddenly the leaf droop inwards. It closes. That is a kind of response produced by this Mimosa pudica plant towards the touch. See, this, plant, this flower is sunflower, sunflower. Scientifically, it is said as Helianthus annus. What about sunflower? Naturally, it turned towards the sunlight. That is from east to west. It is also a kind of response produced from the sunflower. So, uh, this is responding to the sunlight. It is turning towards the light. A kind of stimuli only trigger the kind of plants to move. Isn't it? Naturally, the plants move in search of sunlight. See this plant? Since it is not getting sunlight inside the room, it is turning towards a window in search of light. They are highly sensitive to external factors like light, gravity, temperature, etc. Let me explain you about the trophism. Trophism is an kind of movement. It is a unidirectional movement of a whole or part of a plant moving towards the direction of the stimuli. There are a few types of trophisms. Let me explain you. Phototrophism, geotrophism, thigmotrophism, hydrotrophism and one more trophism is there, chemotrophism. Let me explain you the phototrophism first. Photo. Photo means light. Trophos means to turn. The movement of the plant towards or away from the light is said to be phototrophism. See, here the plant, the plant, uh, especially this uh, tip part of the plant is said to be oxen. The oxen part is moving towards the light. It is turning towards the light, indicating that it is a phototrophism. And also it is positive phototrophism. Positive, negative, I'll explain you now. If a um, shoot part of the plant, normally shoot part of the plant move towards the sunlight. This is a positive phototrophism. And root, just opposite direction, isn't it? The root move towards the soil in search of water. This indicates a negative phototrophism. Next, geotrophism. Geo means earth. The movement of the plant part towards the earth. That's what we say it is geotrophism. If the root is uh, growing towards the soil, it is said to be positive geotrophism. And the shoot part is grow growing away from the soil, it is negative geotrophism. 
see the root is growing towards the soil this picture denotes the positive geotrophism next stigmotrophism stigma means touch trophos means to turn the movement of the plant towards or away from the touch is stigmotrophism uh, it is typically found in uh, twinning plants uh, and tendrils uh, as it grows with the support uh likewise uh, uh, venus fly trap venus fly trap suddenly closes if an insect uh, is sitting over that is the insect touches if the insect touches the plant immediate response will be there in the uh, plant that is venus fly trap plant by closing now uh, you know this venus fly trap plant get the nutrients only from the insects so this is an example for uh, thigmotrophism and next hydrotrophism hydro means water trophos means to turn so if a plant is growing towards the water it is said to be hydrotrophism which part of the plant turns or grows towards the water of course that is root the root part of the plant move in search of water this is hydrotrophism denoting the positive hydrotrophism isn't it naturally the shoot part is growing away from the water denoting the negative hydrotrophism next chemotrophism it is a kind of uh, growth movement of a plant plant part in response to the chemical stimulus see here the pollens are carried to the uh, flower with the help of insects uh, or by wind so this pollen moves inwards in to the ovule naturally uh, the ovule only turns into uh, uh, the fruit flower only turns into a fruit for that purpose um, the movement of pollen takes place inwards inside the flower towards the ovule this is a kind of uh, chemotrophism here also movement takes place the pollen moves so this is um, this is a good example for chemotrophism in all kind of trophisms there are two types of response that is positive response and negative response if it is a positive response it is positive and um, negative response is turned said to be an uh, negative trophism so trophism is generally turned uh, termed positive as well as negative if a plant part is moving towards a signal it is positive trophism and if it is moving away from the signal it is negative trophism see this um, this picture is in this picture you can see a radical is coming out uh, and turning towards the sunlight a plant the plant is a small sapling is coming out from the seed and moving in search of light so the upper part um, is said to be a positive phototrophism in the lower part you can notice a root is moving down uh, towards the soil denoting the negative phototrophism in all kind of trophism there is positive as well as negative see this picture uh, the shoot part of the plant denotes a negative geotrophism root part of the plant denoting the positive geotrophism isn't it okay likewise every tropis every trophism has got positive as well as negativity if a plant part is responding towards a uh, touch it is positive thigmotrophism likewise the same plant part is uh, moving away from the touch it is negative um, Geo, uh, sorry, thigmotrophism. Um, mimosa pudica plant. I to, I showed you a mimosa pudica plant in the starting, isn't it? The mimosa pudica plant. What kind of trophism is there in the mimosa pudica plant? Come on, tell me what kind of uh, trophism? Yes, that is thigmotrophism, and also it is negative thigmotrophism. Why the leaf? Uh, the, it is the leaves are responding away from the touch, isn't it? This shows the negative thigmotrophism. So, um, in this lesson, you have learnt about the kinds of trophism, phototrophism, geotrophism, thigmotrophism, hydrotrophism, as well as chemotrophism. Thank you, children.